The narrative taught to us by Egyptologists about the truth of ancient human civilization, particularly that of ancient Egyptians, is so full of holes that they are now quite literally debunking themselves. In fact, you may have seen news articles making headlines around the world of how researchers have decoded the genome of ancient Egyptians for the very first time. In fact, the findings have turned years of theory on its head, causing Egyptologists to reevaluate the region's history altogether. The study tested preserved remains from an archaeological site along the Nile River in Middle Egypt, then compared the DNA to modern Egyptians in Cairo. The study found that the mummy's closest ancient relatives were from the Near East or West Asia and Europe. So in other words, modern Egyptians have more in common with Sub-Sahara Africa than the ancient Egyptians do, which just completely debunks everything they thought they knew about the human migration process into ancient Egypt and elsewhere around the world. Now it's worth mentioning that they did testing from just one site in Middle Egypt for more than 150 Egyptian mummies. Now, obviously they need to do more testing from other sites, but it almost tells me that they chose this site just to validate their current narrative. I mean, any research you do on this, you'll see just how shocked these people truly were to have these findings. But why are these people always so shocked? I mean, we learn throughout history that we constantly debunk ourselves, that what we knew yesterday turns out to be false tomorrow. And these people just can't seem to wrap their minds around it. Maybe it's because of the fact that they memorized definitions in a textbook decades ago, and they've been handing out degrees on the subject matter, which is, as we've learned, full of falsehoods for decades, and they've been handing out these degrees to tens of thousands of people, that they just don't want to accept the fact that, well, they've been wrong from the get-go. I mean, we've already learned in just the last year and a half that they're finding Native American DNA to contain Middle Eastern DNA, which is just a complete shock and a complete mystery. And on top of that, they're finding DNA in South American mummies that have DNA from Aborigines from Australia. I mean, you could pretty much just take the known human migration pattern map and throw it out the window because it has just been overwhelmingly debunked. I mean, how in the world do you have Australian Aboriginal DNA in South American mummies but not in the remains of North American Indians? I've discussed this in other videos, but it just goes to show you that quite literally, these Egyptologists have no idea what they're talking about. I mean, how do they explain the fact that there are tens of thousands of ancient Egyptian petroglyphs and hieroglyphs that show the ancient Egyptians, or dynastic Egyptians, I should say, doing all kinds of different things, yet there's a complete lack, zero information whatsoever about how they built the Great Sphinx or the pyramids altogether which further validates when you take this newfound DNA evidence that there was indeed a cataclysm that reset ancient human civilization. So whoever built the Sphinx and the pyramids, well, they were wiped out during the last cataclysm 13,000 years ago. And the dynastic Egyptians that we know of came and found the remains of these ancient sites and just built on top of them. I've discussed the overwhelming evidence of the cataclysm in multiple other videos, so I'll just hold off there. But just to paint you a picture, and I've discussed this in other videos as well, but when you look at the overwhelming evidence from the enclosure of the Great Sphinx, it proves that the age of the Great Sphinx is at least double the age of what we've been taught and very likely to be tens of thousands of years old based on the water erosion around it. I mean, anyone that doesn't acknowledge this has either not looked at the research or is lying just to protect their own financial incentives because the evidence is overwhelmingly conclusive that yes, the Great Sphinx is far older than what we've been taught in school or the narrative that the Egyptologists have been teaching for decades. And in fact, you have professional geologists. Take, for example, Robert Schock and more than 200 other professional geologists from around the world, dozens of countries that have evaluated the Sphinx and have said that, yes, it looks like there might be 20 to 30,000 years of water erosion around it, which it's worth mentioning that there is more than 30,000 years of Egyptian lineage from the pharaohs literally carved in stone throughout ancient Egypt. And yet, Modern Egyptologists just blow that off and say it's symbolism of something else, that it's wrong, that obviously we don't date back 30,000 years. That's just impossible. We don't have the evidence. The evidence is right in front of you. And how long, I mean, how many times do these people have to be debunked for them to register the fact that maybe there's a lot more that they don't know than they know, and it's time to start asking new questions. It's time that they start acknowledging all the overwhelming evidence of the cataclysm that happened 11,600 years ago and 13,000 years ago that shows you that there was an advanced civilization of some kind that existed and they were wiped out following that cataclysm. And hence the reason why we don't know anything that happened more than 6,000 years ago. Yet modern humans, as we are today, have existed for at least 150,000 years, possibly as much as 300 to 350,000 years as we saw in recent articles going around, which I discussed in another video. 
I mean, do you ever wonder why we just have zero knowledge dating back more than 6,000 years? And even 6,000 years ago is totally foggy. And there's limited information about that altogether. Like I said, it's time to start asking new questions, but clearly the true history of ancient human civilization is far older and we were far more advanced than we were ever taught in school. Anyways, guys, I'm Jimmy. This is Bright Insight. Like and subscribe and leave me a comment. And let me know what your thoughts are. And I have many other videos to come on a whole wide variety of topics. Take care, everybody.